Today we're taking a look at a 1976 Excalibur. This production series car based off of the 1928 Mercedes SSK is quite possibly the best reproduction of the Mercedes SSK. Lot 552 is the 1976 Excalibur Series 2. This was built to replicate the 1928 Mercedes-Benz SSK. And interestingly enough, we started out earlier today with another car built to resemble an SSK. But this is quite a bit different. The Excalibur was factory built in series. It has a 454 cubic inch V8, four barrel carburetor, dual exhaust, automatic transmission, power steering, four wheel disc brakes, ventilated front discs, air conditioning, tilt steering column, cruise control, red over black exterior, tan interior with Stuart Warner gauges, Alpine AM FM stereo, chrome wire wheels, and wide white wall tires. 50,000. The title is in transit on this lot. I get the deal. Down 20. I get the deal. Down 20. 17. 5. Down 20. 17. 5. Down 20. 20. 25. 20. 25. 25. Every minute I say 22. Look at that. That looks great. 25. 25. Thank you. 27. 5. I get 25. Make a little bit. 27. 5. Marty, get a minute. 27. 5. I get 25. Make a little bit. 27. 5. 25. Make a little bit. 27. 5. 25. Make a little bit. 27. 5. 27. 5. 25. Make a little bit. 27. 5. Give it a little bit. 20. Right here on the right side, you will take 28. But they do that, they get out 29. 29, I'll have to separate them right away. 29, 28, 29. I get 20 people to the 29. I get 20 people to the 29. That's what Brittany does with the voice range. 29, I get 20 people to the 29. I get 28 people to the 29. Here today, today's tomorrow. 29, I get 20 people to the 29. I get 20 people to the 29. The 99, 99, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 20, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, this is an Excalibur. This is not some kit car. These cars were built in the Excalibur factory. They were produced in series. They are a recognized manufacturer. There are uh, ownership clubs and collectors. This is a car that has much more than uh, just a little bit of lookalike utility. 29, 30. I get 29, people to 30. I get 29, people to 30. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, this company that produced the Excalibur was founded by Brooke Stevens from Studebaker. When Brooks founded this company to produce the Excalibur, he used the original Studebaker chassis as well as the Studebaker 289 V8, which of course ceased production pretty quickly. From then on, he started to use the Chevy 327s, and it wasn't until the 70s that he used the 454s. There's over 3,500 Excaliburs produced, and this company closed in 1986. They still produced a few till 1990. This particular 1976 with the 454 four barrel carburetor is really primo when it comes to the only existing Excaliburs out there. I'd like to thank Branson Auto Auction for letting us take a look. And thank you for watching Car Classics.